What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new 2021 Keystone Outback Model 322 ML. Coach comes in at 37 feet 10 inches in length with a dry weight as this unit sits of 8,520 pounds, three slides, two air conditioners, even an outdoor kitchen. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. So here inside the unit model 332 ML, mid living is the floor plan, three total slides and just check out the amount of entertaining room you got inside the coach here. Just tons and tons of extra room to lounge around as a family on those rainy days or even at night when you just wanna kick your feet up and watch TV. Nice vaulted ceilings throughout the coach, six foot 10 on the actual main ceiling height and a slot height over here of five foot seven. So if you are a taller than individual like myself, definitely watch your head whenever you are standing up. No carpet anywhere inside the coach. I really like how they've even got rid, got rid of the carpet on the slides, replacing that with just more of the linoleum like the rest of the floor there. I like how it all matches all the way throughout the coach. With it being the rear kitchen layout, you're gonna get the most amount of counter prep space Solid surface countertops all the way throughout the whole entire kitchen with a decent amount of actual storage space throughout. Decent sized drawers there and a place for the trash can right underneath the sink there. Stainless steel drop-in sink with a high-rise faucet and you got the metal blinds behind there because you know when you're washing your pots and pans and you do splatter, getting it on those plastic blackout shades will be difficult to clean so you will have in fact have metal shades there. Check out the black splash as it goes all the way from the counter all the way to the cabinet. Even one tent outlet is provided right up there. And they wrapped it nicely all the way around. Standard size Furion oven, three hour burner on the top, heavy duty grates with a low profile hood bin on the top. And they've even added the matching drawer on the bottom for all of your pots and pans there. Totally new design on the actual microwave here by High Point. They've done away with the rotating table inside. So it's just one continuous flat surface. And I guess by taking away the turntable, you're gonna get just a little bit more added space inside of there for all of your cooking needs. And up above, you're gonna have a kind of like a four cutout for maybe a wine bottle or two. And you can even notice in the back how you've got the rounder shapes here for the bottles to set it nicely. Solid black, 10.7 cubic foot, all electric GE fridge. And yes, this does work off of the battery while going down the road. The truck sends over a tranquil charge keeping you know the refrigerator nice and cool coming around to the main slide of the unit once again you have a sleeper booth thomas Payne collection those are manual recliners with a little bit of storage space inside the middle for maybe your remote controls for your television here on the entertainment side you can have a nice big 52 inch all electric fireplace but once again if you don't camp in the winter maybe you're not full-time if you do have guests over, you can just turn the lights on to this, which will produce enough light, and we don't have to turn on all the light throughout the coach, waking everyone up. The little slit here is where the heat will come from, producing around 5,000 BTUs of actual heat. AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, zones A and B, so you can have your music outside or even inside from the Jensen radio provided there. Flat screen TV does pull away from the wall, 50 inches in depth there and a little bit of storage space above, maybe for your satellite dish or any other goodies you may bring along with you. And just plenty of storage space throughout. So here inside the master bedroom, with it having that third slide, you will get the maximum amount of actual walk around room around the bed. Bed measurements are 72 by 74 inches across, king size bed with additional storage provided up there. Roof mounted air conditioner and all the controls for that unit there are right here on the wall with its digital thermostat provided here. Light switch right there for the actual main coach. 110 provided right down there. And over on this side, you have 110 and 12 volt chargers down there. A little bit of a lip there. I don't know if that's quite enough room for a CPAP machine, but definitely room for a cell phone. Breeze windows in the slide there with the blackout shades. And even down here at the foot of the bed, that is, in fact, a breeze window. I had to go ahead and open the window up. It's starting to warm up quite nicely here in Mississippi down here today. Four sets of different drawers down here at the foot of the bed. And if you're like my wife, she's taking every single one of these and leaving me with just this one here for everything I need for at least a month's stay. Inside the master bedroom closet, washer and dryer connections. That will, in fact, be a combo unit, so it will wash 
and dry. But if you don't want, you know, the washer and dryer, you do have the added bonus of the storage space there for maybe additional storage. And guys, I lied to you. I found carpet. Inside the master bedroom closet, you will have a little bit of carpet inside the floor with the hanging rod provided there. Even the cool sliding door with the mirror there provided. Pass through bathroom. So the easy access, maybe rolling right out of the bed, right into the master bathroom. All the controls of the unit located right here in the hallway. That is your second thermostat, which will control the main unit back here in the back. All your slide operations, your awning operations, light controls, water pump, and so forth. And even the tank monitoring stations are right up here. Come inside the master bathroom. You're going to have a porcelain foot flush toilet, press membrane countertop on the actual sink here. And that has a plastic sink and a plastic faucet there. One tin outlet's there and a medicine cabinet provided as well with a little shelf maybe to bring all of your bathroom goods along. 34 by 34 corner shower. More of a brass. Yeah, that's a brass faucet there. Even the brass shower head there and the skylight above. So I'm six foot two just to show you how much move around room you got. I'm not inside the dome. So plenty of extra room to move around inside the actual shower. And a better shot of the actual room around the toilet there. A decent amount of actual storage space throughout the coach. Even here in the bathroom for all of your bathroom linen and other items you may bring along with you. Definitely within reach of the toilet. And just to give you bigger guys an idea how much room you got when sitting on the toilet. I'm not saying you come here just to hang out all day, but you never know. This time I'm gonna get all this opened up into its sleeping configuration to show you guys how much walk around room you'll have. Now that I've got it laid out in the sleeping configuration and show you just how much move around room you got, maybe the grandkids are over, or maybe it's just the son, the daughter, and you just, maybe you don't want a traditional bunk. You want the bigger living space, well you definitely have the sleeping space provided for all of them. And I forgot to point out earlier, the accent lights underneath the booth, that light switch is right up here in the main slide to control them. That way you don't have to turn on all the lights in the coach. And you can even let out the actual manual recliner here to lay back and still watch the TV there at night. So here on the outside of the coach, fully molded front cap. And check out the graphics package all the way down. It really sets this unit apart from the other units in the campground. And I'm not quite sure if you can see, but the docking lights are built into the front cap up there. And then again down here. So it definitely makes it easier finding your camper at nighttime inside the campground. The black material here is that of a, like a spray and liner that you'll find on a lot of your truck beds. Definitely does help protect from the debris front flinging up from the back of the vehicles. And those docking light switches are provided right down through here. Two bigger 20 pound bottles and a fully automatic seven point leveling system. That controls right here in the front and I'll go over it when I get on that other side there. Storage, magnetic latches to help assist keeping that up out of the way with the slam latches but check this out fully retractable metal pan there giving you loads of actual storage space I mean, you don't have to worry about reaching all the way through to get to all of that back there. and again the slam latches provided tv connections satellite connections provided here so you could place a table there for all of your tv controls solid step they do flip up and inside the unit there and they're going to have the manual holes so you will have to wiggle and jiggle to find that whole other side of the hole when you put that pin through there 16 inch alloy wheels and there's another shot of that leveling system leg back here on the back cable driven slides all the way throughout the coach solid one big grab handle there and just one massive electric awning all the way throughout and let me point out where the led lights are at usually you'll see them underneath the actual camper here but on this outback they're actually right up there you can have one there and the other one's going to be located right over here on this actual arm there and you can actually see that one pretty good one massive outdoor kitchen no plumb sink on this unit here you will have the miniature fridge with additional cabinet space provided there one tent outlets and the grill is just a two eye burner so maybe you can cook a couple pots and pans up here on the top 
and plenty of actual storage space provided there. Here on the back of the coach, you're gonna have a fully walkable roof with easy access of the actual ladder there. All the power cord connections are located back here on the back, right above the actual steel bumper here. And let me point out too, the one thing that really impresses me a lot is the breeze windows. All the windows in the coach are in fact breeze windows, so you can have quite a nice breeze blowing throughout the whole entire coach. Backup camera prep, we do provide those here at Camper Kingdom. Yes, they are additional, but we can in fact install those. Docking station is also located back from the back. And I like when they do that, have all the water connections and the power connections right here in the back of the unit. Black tank flush, any water connections all right here in one place. Cable driven slides on all three slides of the coach. And again, just showing you the quality of the slides there. Now let's talk the down and the dirty. The sewer connections. Nobody likes to do it, but it has to be done. Down here, you're going to have two grays, one black. Gray handles identifying the gray, black identifying the black. One connection here, but underneath the slide out, back here in the back, you will in fact have another black handle back there, so you will have to have multiple hoses in order to reach all of them. Good shot of your wheels there. I like how they've done the black on the actual aluminum there. It's pretty sharp. Additional storage underneath the bedroom slide. Magnetic latches there, keeping it tucked nicely out of the way. That's going to be the 50 amp power cord right up there, and the linoleum continues inside of the storage container there. Six gallon gas and electric hot water heater. And now the leveling system. Fully automatic, just simple press of a button, and you probably can't see because of the glare of the sun, but just simple auto mode, auto level, and okay. Coach will, in fact, level itself. This makes life that much easier when it comes to leveling a coach of this size. I just really like those graphics that they've placed all down the side of this unit. Once again, guys, thanks again to all the new subscribers. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, come see us.